Chapter 278, God is toppling myriad kingdoms, open. As his face greatly changed, Sima Longi unshouted and summoned the shield, with powerful blood energy. The shield confidently met Li Kai's fist, bang. This fist heavily assaulted the shield as was Sima Longi uncontinuously pushed back. The ground behind him was stomped by his feet and from the force exerted by his body, one hole formed after another. Then, with a snapping sound, the shield in his hand immediately cracked into several pieces that fell to the ground. The scene was suddenly silent. All the young prodigies were shocked. Li Kai's casual punch was able to destroy a treasure shield in an instant. This was like a giant axe smashing into their hearts. What kind of frightening flesh was this? Little beast, you don't know who you are provoking. Upholding an ugly expression, Sima Longi uncrazily roared. His blood energy immediately surged and the energy around his body turned into a powerful ox. At this time, his body was encompassed in a golden light as if it was a set of golden armor. A huge ox with golden brilliance surrounding its body as if it was made from gold appeared right before Sima Longi Un's body. Ma u u. A cow's bellow rang as the ox's aura slammed into the air like a tidal wave. In a flash, it was as if there was an army of stampeding oxen breaking the dam. Golden ox physique. Many young experts lost their colors after seeing the majestic aura of Sima Longi Un, a grand completion Xianchen physique. A person took a deep breath and murmured, only a minor art. At this time, Li Kai turned around and didn't even bat a knife for he did not place Sima Longi Un in his sight. In a flash, Li Kai's ocean-sized blood energy appeared along with his fey palaces. The Kun Peng appeared in the air as its emperor energy also assaulted the atmosphere. The moment the spectators felt this presence, they couldn't help but exclaim, In Emperor's Law, even Sima Longi Un was alarmed after hearing the words Emperor's Law. He then coldly shouted, Kill. Bang bang bang. In just a second, the golden ox ran like crazy as its four hooves punished the heaven and earth. Its steel heel kicked forward as fast as lightning with a force capable of destroying the mountains and rivers. Scram. The mad cow, with its steel hooves carrying a monstrous force, did not daze Li Kai. He shouted and his hand that was akin to a heavenly rod suddenly smashed forward. The invincible hell suppressing godly physique took action with an unstoppable, suppressive might. Boom. Li Kai immediately struck the golden ox flying away. Sima Long Yun's entire body also flew outside as he spat out blood. Next was a series of explosions as Sima Long Yun slammed into a collapsed parts of the palace. He was quite a mess after he struggled to crawl up from the broken debris. This course of events rendered everyone astonished. With a grand completion golden ox physique, Sima Long Yun, a royal noble, was struck flying away by one fist. The enemy simply did not regard him as an opponent. At this point, Kai Ziyadi was also quite amazed and couldn't calm down for a long time. Until now, she had always assumed that Li Kai was only versed in the alchemy Dao and didn't feel his cultivation was particularly stronger than her. However, it was one thing if he didn't take action, but once he did, it was quite unbelievable. Even Kai Ziyadao shouted out in fear from witnessing Li Kai's dominance as he drew in a cold breath. Needless to say about other people, even who use expression sank as the cold glimmers in his tiger eyes carried a frightening murderous intent. At this time, Li Kai didn't bother to give Sima Long Yun another glance. He turned around and revealed a calm smile as he spoke to Kai Ziyadao. I am always ruthless and cruel when killing tigers and dragons. Ziyadao, take Miss Bao inside the palace lest fresh blood spray on her. Kai Ziyadao immediately understood Li Kai's intention and asked Princess Bao Yun to leave this battlefield in order to spare her from this difficult situation. With a darkened expression, who you wanted to step forward, but Li Kai blocked his path. Li Kai slowly rubbed his hands together and leisurely spoke. Earlier, someone said that they wanted to stain their hands with my blood. It seems that I would be doing a disservice to myself if I didn't kill a tiger at this moment. Silence permeated the atmosphere as everyone drew in cold breaths. If this was before, everyone would be laughing at Li Kai for speaking such words. However, shivers ran down the spines of the spectators for they understood that this person was not a nice fellow, who used tiger eyes flashed with killing intent as he spoke. I don't care who you are. The Eastern Hundred Cities is not the place for you to run wild. If you are courting death, then I will help you by personally tearing you to pieces. Run wild? Li Kai slowly smiled and said, In the Nine Heavens and Ten Earths, there are not many places where I dare to not run wild. As for you wanting to tear me to pieces. A short time ago, there was an old fool named Mo Shen from the Heavenly Southern Kingdom Ah, I almost forgot about it. I accidentally grinded him into meat paste, and I wonder if your bones are harder than his or not. Everyone present felt suffocated the moment they heard Li Kai's words. Even though the Hundred Cities information regarding the Grand Middle Territory was sparse, everyone knew about the Heavenly Southern Kingdom. It was definitely stronger than the Tiger's Howl School, not weaker. HMPH. Who you only snorted. He then took one step forward and, within this moment, Tiger Roars resonated. It was as if he became the King of Beasts, one who was capable of ordering all the fierce animals in this world. He emanated waves of aura that resembled a prehistoric wild beast, causing many people to take several steps back. Everyone has come together to explore the meaning of the Grand Owl. Why should we kill each other? At this time, a pleasant voice like immortal hymns appeared. This sound immediately dissipated the murderous intent in the garden. In just a blink of an eye, the atmosphere of the scene was soothed as if spring had come again to the earth, as if an ice coldness came during the scorching weather, causing everyone to become relaxed with great spirit. This sound swept away the hatred and sternness of everyone's hearts. It was as if it was the sound of an immortal from the nine heavens. Even a monstrous butcher who was ready to kill wouldn't be able to help but calm down. Li Kai gently nodded approvingly at this sound. This girl had trained this supreme art to mine our completion. Goddess Mai. At this time, everyone forgot about the battle earlier as they quickly turned around towards the voice. A woman adorned with a snow-white outfit arrived by treading on the moon. 
She carried an unrivaled ethereal appearance like a descending goddess, like a fairy beneath the moonlight. The pen and ink could not describe this woman nor her transcending aura. It was as if the flames and smoke of mundanity could not touch her peerless grace. Her shape was just perfect, a bit skinnier would be too thin, a bit more round would be too plump. Both her features and figure could be considered supreme, along with the gentle atmosphere. Strange images appeared due to her arrival. It made others feel as if they were merchants trapped in the desert only to suddenly find an oasis with hundreds of blooming flowers and budding seeds. The snow was starting to melt and the water began to form gurgling streams. These strange images made others forget about worldly troubles, leaving behind all disputes and grievances. Humans were truly susceptible to such an aura. Even Hu Yu, who wanted to deal with Li Kai, lost his anger. He simply snorted towards Li Kai before his gaze completely fell on the woman without being able to change his sight for a long time. God is my. Many people were toppled at her sight as someone murmured. Even all the delicate golden girls with noble birth couldn't help but suffer from an inferiority complex. Kai Zidi could be considered a heaven's proud daughter in both her appearance and cultivation. She was not the type to belittle herself, but after seeing Mai Su Ayao, she couldn't help but lament with a sigh for she felt menial in comparison. Today, us virtuous friends came together to address the mysteries of the Grand Ao. As someone who was not tainted by the mundane world, Mai Su Ayao only used one word to resolve the conflict. This was indeed a frightening woman. Everyone sat down after Mai Su Ayao took her seat. They focused their thoughts with an air of solemnity while listening. To all the cultivators, being able to listen to Mai Su Ayao's Dao preaching was a great fortune. Many people had a great harvest after hearing just one of her lectures. So I will first reveal my lacking aspects and start with a section. If it is flawed, please correct me. My Su Ayao sat in an orderly fashion with the air of a supreme goddess. The origin of the Tao is the heart, and it is also the origin of the heaven and earth, the origin of all the myriad of existences. So I Ayao's Tao preaching was pleasant and sweet to the listeners, it had the power to linger in their hearts for a long time. Her Tao preaching contained a profound content along with an easy to understand rhetoric. She used simplicity to explain complexity. Then she turned complex ideas into simple concepts. Strange images started to form at the height of her lecture as the heavenly flowers bloomed amongst the golden spring that gushed forth from the earth. It was as if an immortal monarch was preaching the Tao as the visiting saints and the holy Buddha were also chanting. In just a moment, everyone here became fascinated. Many of their questions regarding the grand Tao were suddenly solved. Many young people here felt as if their souls were drifting in the air. Even characters like Hou Yu became spellbound from the lecture. While sitting in his corner and carefully listening to Mai Su Ayao, Li Kai also nodded his head. It was truly not simple for a girl this age to understand such profundity. The Eternal River School was truly unfathomable to train a successor of this level. This girl was worthy of her natural-born immortal soul bone. Other geniuses could not compare to such a peerless advantage. Once one had such a supreme talent like the immortal soul bone, all techniques would be made simple and all Tao were common. It would be difficult for someone of this talent to not be heaven-defying. After listening to a section, Li Kai silently left and entered the depths of the royal palace to truly enjoy its beauty. This time, Li Kai did not enter the royal palace to listen to Mai Su Ayao's Tao preaching. He was only here to support Kai Ziedel. At this moment, he had given Kai Ziedel a chance, so after listening to a part of the lecture, he became disinterested and decided to leave in order to enjoy the dim moonlight overlooking the pretty scenery of the royal palace.